Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got my first ever Sainsbury's clothing haul by, is it two or two or something like that anyway, and I'll be trying them on. So let's get cracking. Ah yeah, so I did an online order at Sainsbury's. I'd intended going to the Sainsbury's which is, I say near to here, it's not that near to here, but it would have been two buses away. And I honestly thought, <laughs> can I be bothered going when I can just scroll through online? But scrolling through online is always a bit more of a risk, isn't it? So I bought quite a few things because I've never shopped there before. And I've heard loads of people say such good things about the quality of the clothing there and the styles and everything else. So I thought I'd get myself a range of stuff and uh, see how I went. If I like them or if I like the quality and what have you but don't really like the items, I'm going to actually go to the store and have a look around. And at some point I'll do that anyway. But in the meantime, I've got an online order. So I'll show you what I got. So first up, I got a couple of handbags. Now, I've been after some like summer handbags that will, you know, see me through. And, but it's really difficult. When I looked online, I can't judge what the size is. So they've come and I don't think either of them are big enough. So the first one is this macrame one, which I absolutely love macrame. I've got bits of macrame all over my house. And because uh, there's a lovely lady in the town where I am that actually does macrame and she sells stuff on the market, which I love. Honestly, so I've bought quite a few bits from her. But I, lo I love the idea of a macrame handbag. But when it's come, it's tiny. Look, it says £12. So it's lovely, but I think it's just too small. You know, for me, I really do think it's too small. By the time I've got my phone, my glasses and everything else in there, I'm not going to be able to fasten the top. You know, so anyway, I'll show you them on, on an outfit so that you'll be able to judge yourself, just in case you wanted one, really. This were the other one, and this is even smaller. Look at the size of it. It's tiny. When you open it up, look, it's really, really small. I don't think my purse and my glasses are going to fit in there and leave me any room. Speaking of glasses, I better put them on, Anna. Um, oh, I can see again. Right, so I love this style, but I just can't see. And I love the handle as well. The handle's in like a, a fake suede, but I just can't see me ever using that because it's just so mini, you know. But it's lovely, but just too small for me, I think. If you were the sort of person that travelled light, that'd be great, but I'm not. I'm carrying glasses, sunglasses, purse, phone, you know, keys, any number of other things, change purse, receipts, lippy, you name it, I've got it slung in my bag when I go out. I'm it weighted down before I've even gone shopping, me, most days. So, yeah, I, I just can't see that this is going to work out for me, but I'll show you what it looks like around some clothing anyway. Next up, I ordered this. I can't remember ordering any of these, but clearly they look like the sort of thing I would have ordered. So anyway, I've got this. This is in a size 14, and it's like um, ruched, elastic around the body, right? I thought it were a risk, but it were a risk I was prepared to take because I really loved the fabric. I love this um, big sleeve, and it's got like this gather bit at the bottom look like that i like that detail we like a puff sleeve and then really nice little flowers on it because i like a floral it's just finding one that suits so it's and it's got a frill around the bottom look of that that ruched um or gathered is it smocking type thing it's fake smocking isn't it that but um and it's got like a, a gather out bottom it's very cottony feeling i don't know what the fabric actually is let's have a quick look 100% cotton, so great. It really feels it as well. It feels really good quality, you know. So anyway, I got that one. So I'm going to try it. I'm hopeful. I really want to like these clothes because I do like, I like the quality of that already. Already that feels like it's, you know, it's not from Sainsbury's. It don't feel like it's come from a supermarket, that just the quality of the fabric. So really happy with that. So I want to see, I want it, that to work out for me. Then I ordered this and I didn't expect it to be quite so jazzy. I thought it was going to be mustard, 
rather than this luminous orangey sort of mustard. But I thought it might be nice over blue, you know, or navy. I've got a really nice navy t-shirt that I got at um, Marks and Spencer's. I thought this might go over it in a pair of jeans. You know, and it might not matter that it's quite jazzy. I love the knit of that. I love a knitted cardi anyway. It's, has it got buttons? Yeah, it's got these lovely little like fake uh, pearl buttons, pearlized buttons. What's it called? It's not tortoiseshell, it's uh, mother of pearl buttons. Is it mother of pearl that? I think it's mother of pearl buttons. It's really nice. Yeah, I bought it in a size 14. 100% cotton as well, so it's a proper cotton cardi. I really like it. Where else do you get cotton cardies these days? You know, and these were a lot, these, the, you know, comparatively. I like the quality of that. It's really nice. You know, really good quality cardigan. I mean, you very rarely get, you know, you get to sort of synthetic knits and stuff, but very rarely cotton. And speaking of that, I ordered this little top. Okay, so it's in like a, a taupe colour and it's just knitted. I love it. It's got like a quite frilly sort of sleeve on it, short sleeved. And then it's just knitted body as well with a square neck. Well, I quite like a square neck and I love this sleeve. I'm hoping this looks all right on me. Is this cotton as well? It's 50% cotton and 50% acrylic. This, I still think that's a good mix. And I got it in a size 14. So I'm really hopeful for that. I like it a lot. There's not, honestly, I like all three of these so far. They feel like they could be Zara. You know, very nice anyway. And then I ordered this blouse sort of shirt thing. Well, I love Brodie Anglais. And that's what this is here, look. And it's got a little tie on the um, sleeve, the bottom of the sleeve. It's about a three quarter sleeve, I think. It's slightly puffed, but not massively so, you know, so it's a bit more sensible, I suppose, is the word I'd use. It always says this was £16 and it's in a size 14. It's got buttons down the front and loads of broad angle around the sort of yoke bit of it. Really nice. I like that an awful lot. Really, really nice. It's slightly gathered at the front, but not at the back. So the back is straight down and then a bit of gather at the front, but not hugely gathered. So very, very nice shirt. And for £16, I mean, that is a bargain. You know, it's. I'm sure that's cotton as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, 100% cotton. So, I mean, for a... You know, a completely cotton shirt. It's going to be so cool, isn't it, that, in the summer. So I'm hoping that fits and looks all right on me. I'm really, really hopeful for it. And then I ordered this dress, which were only £18. £18, blinking, Nora. So it's like this. It's quite long. It's round at the front and it's got that lovely open detail with a button at the back. It's got a bit of a puff sleeve, but it's gathered up on on the um, the top seam bit. It's not actually seam, but it's gathered up as if there were a seam there. Now, it's straight down the front like this. Um, has it got any buttons on it? No, but at the back, and it's a long skirt as well, right? So I reckon that'll be midi to maxi on me. But at the back, it's got a bit of gather. Now, I'm hoping that what that means is it's going to fit me, but it's also going to be uh, not add bulk to my front. You know, I just can't believe that that were only £18. I got it in a 14 because I'm trying not to buy so many 16s now, you know. So just because I'm trying to get used to the fact that I might not be a 16 anymore. Now, I know these aren't going to fit me. I absolutely know this. I bought this pair of jeans in a large, but I'm telling you now, these ain't going to fit me. They're really not very big on waist. They're a lot bigger on the hips. So if you were a more hourglass shape, you know, smaller waist, bigger hip, they might actually be all right for you. But I also think they're too short for me. They've got this really nice detail in here, though, at the bottom of the cuff. So I know they're not going to fit me. Nowhere near are they going to go on me. Not a chance. So if they do, I'll show you them. But I absolutely know they're not going to, you know. So anyway, that's those. 
I wish they did. And then last up, I bought this. Now, this is not Sainsbury's, it's Fat Face. But it's on the Sainsbury's website. Now, this ain't my favourite item. I'm not going to lie about it. But I do like Fat Face clothes. So, I thought I'd give it a go. It were, It's blue, which is what drew me to it. It says it's £35, though. So, that's significantly more than the, the Sainsbury's clothes are being. And it's only like t-shirting material. So it's open at the top. It's got buttons here at the top so you can fasten it up and the buttons go all the way down to the middle and then it's slightly gathered on but with a curved hem on the bottom, you know, at the back anyway, straight across at the front. But And it's this mixed fabric thing that I really like. I do love that design sort of detail. But I can't see that that is worth double that dress so I'll try it on, but I have to say I'd rather have two of the Sainsbury's ones to one of these already, you know, so yeah. But I'll try them on anyway, so I'll insert the try-ons now. Okay, so this is the first, um, I'm wearing it with leggings, please forgive me, I've got my leggings and docks on just because I was uh, out wearing those, so I just thought I'd do this anyway. So, yeah, this is the first one. I actually quite like it, you know. I like the square neck on it. That's really nice. The sleeves are lovely. They're long, but not so long, you know. They, you know, if you had a shorter arm, perhaps, or you were more petite than me, they probably would be full length. But on me, they're just over sort of three quarters, really. They're all right when I hold my hands down like that, but when I put my hands forward, you know, they are going to go up. But I really like this. It feels so cottony and really cool. And it covers up this bit here. So I think with a pair of jeggings, this might be okay. I'm really pleasantly surprised. Of course, I haven't seen the footage, like I always say, but I am very pleasantly surprised uh, by how nice it is. So yeah, it's a great first start, I think, you know, from, Sainsbury's, good old Sainsbury's. If the oh, rest are like this, I'll be very happy. So nice, I like it. Let me know what you think though, please. So yeah, that's that one. Try the other ones. Okay, so this is the dress. I, it's it definitely fitting me. I, you know, it'd be nice, I think, when I lose a bit more weight, this'll be better, you know, a better fit on me. It feels absolutely fine, it's just, at the moment, it is a bit clinging to the my tummy area. So once that's down a bit and a bit flatter, I think that's going to be nice. I've left my, um, my leggings on with it just because it makes it easier. And it's, oh, it's got this split. I didn't even realise it had got that. That's such a nice detail. I think in the summer with a pair of sandals, this is going to be so cooling and feel really nice. I love the colour, I like that it's pulling in round here. And like I say, once I've lost a bit more of my tummy, I think this might be okay, you know. I like it a lot. It's just got such nice details on it. It feels like it fits rather than it being a tent, you know. So very nice. I'm gonna try it with a cardigan over the top, just cause see what the cardigan's like. Not necessarily cause I'd wear that with this, but we'll see what it's like anyway. So this is the little cardigan. It feels incredibly comfortable. It's nice, got really nice long sleeves, which I love. You know, for a cardi, that's exactly what I need. And if you can see the detail shows up even more over the top of something darker. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a very jazzy color. But I think over something quite simple, you know, like a, you know, all one colour or something like that, I don't mind it. So it's a nice length. It's just long enough as a cardigan. So for me, you know, and in the summer, so that it's not tent-like. It, it goes down far enough. So I quite like this as well. Yeah, not bad. Not sure whether the colouring suits me. But I don't mind it, you know, that's the back. I think it's quite nice. I love the little buttons, these little pearlized buttons are lovely on it. Very nice. It's got a bit of detail. I love a cardigan. 
you know, I've reached that age in my life where, <laughs> where I'm a cardigan wearer. So, but it's nice that it's, I've got a nice colour one, you know, it's because often I get grey or something like that. So this will possibly jazz up what's a quite sort of bland outfit, you know, maybe like a grey, white t-shirt, grey skinny, something like that with this nice jazzy cardi over the top. So quite liking that as well. I'm happy. And then this is the square neck um, top. It's like a sweater material, isn't it? So, um, but, you know, short sleeve. I, I really quite like these. The only thing I'd, I wonder is if it's nearly the same colour as my skin and therefore from a distance I'm going to look like I'm not wearing anything, you know. It feels really cool. Can you imagine it over a pair of jeans? Just quite like that, you know. Ooh, Sainsbury's. Like I say, I can imagine it over a pair of skinny jeans. You know, maybe in dark denim or something. But very pretty. Like it a lot. Yeah. Nice. And then this is the shirt. Which I also really like. I love the shape of it. You know, because it covers my worst bit. Now, one of the sleeve things has come untied and I can't tie it while I'm wearing it. So, sorry about that, because it's supposed to be like this. But this one's come untied. I like that it's got this slightly, you know, because of the broad triangle, you can see through it a little bit. It's really comfortable and fits me, I think, perfectly, actually. I wouldn't want it any tighter than this because then it'd be too tight across my back because I've got quite broad shoulders, irrespective of what size I am. But I actually really like it. You know, that's the side and that's the back. Sorry about the tag sticking out, but... So yeah, feels quite nice. It's quite high at the neck. And I, I mean, you could have it open more. I probably wouldn't. I'd leave it like this, but I actually really like it, you know. So let me know what you think anyway, please. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. So that's that one. Then this is the fat face top. Um, I love the shape of it. I'm not sure though. You know, I'm really, really not sure about this one. It's hard to tell. Try to undo this button. There we are. That feels a bit better. Um, yeah, it's. It, I mean, it's lovely and soft and very, very comfortable. I can imagine it'll wash really well as well. Like all of them, they feel really good quality. So, and that's the back. Yeah, they feel so nice. I mean, I do like fat fits. I find they're quite expensive, it really. But I do like the clothing from there. If you get a good sale on there, you get some really good bargains. And that brings them down to a more acceptable price to me. It's just whether this is worth the price, really. Um, and whether compared to the others, it's as nice. So, but I do like it very much. I think it's only this this size sleeve, this sort of sh length of sleeve. I'm a bit sort of I find a bit difficult, really. I prefer either a longer sleeve or a short sleeve, if I'm honest. But I do I do kind of like it, you know. Not sure it's my favourite. In fact, I know it's not my favourite out of them all. But you know, I do like it. So yeah. Okay, that's that one. And I'll show you the bags. So this is the first little bag. I mean, it's much lighter than the one I got at Primark. Is that a good enough reason to keep it? Won't give me 12 pounds sticker on it. I mean, is it really a good enough reason to keep it? It feels very stretchy as well, you know. So, so that's the first little bag. And this is the other one. Um, 
yeah i'm not as keen on this the strap feels a bit smart a bit short for me to be honest i feel like you know it's it's just too high to wear it as a cross body sadly i think this one's a no from me even though i like it because these are bags that i wouldn't take out on a night time you know if i were just if i were going out i probably these are daytime bags to me so and through the day i, I just have way too much stuff to be taking it's nice but I think they're just, both of them might be just a wee bit too small for me. And this one, the handle is just too short as well. And the jeans, I, I can't even get them up. So they're a definite no. I think it's just the shape. So I can get them over my legs and I can get them over my hips, but I can't get this anywhere near fastened. The top bit has got like, when I try and fasten it, honestly, no zip can be done up and it's about that wide. So, it, you know, no for the jeans. Just not for me. And I think they're too short in the leg as well. So, it's a bit sad. But anyway, that's that. So that's all of my Sainsbury's clothes. I'm really happy with them. Ah, yeah. So, now you've seen the try-on. So, I'll tell you what I think. Sight unseen, if you see what I mean. The jeans are going to have to go back because I couldn't even get those anywhere near around my middle. You know, that's just a non-starter. I knew that would be. This blouse, I really liked, you know. I do really like that. And I think the price is amazing. You know, for £16 for that blouse, it feels like a Zara blouse on. It really does. So I am very happy with that. So if people sort of like that, I may end up keeping that one. I love this little top, but I'm not sure if beige suits me. So I'm prepared to wait and see what people say, but the design of it, I love. I might have a look, see if you can get it in another color as well, um, because that might be what I end up going for. I just love the feel of it, the, you know, the pattern on it and everything. Just feels really good quality. This cardigan, I love. I absolutely love it. But I'm hoping I can make this work for me with navy, you know. And a dark jean. Yeah, I'm sort of thinking that that might be how I wear that. You know, might look nice like that. Maybe. We'll see. This dress, I love. Right, I love the split on it, which I didn't even realise it had. Right, I think it's such a nice detail, that split. And I think for £18, it's an absolute bargain. I'm, I'm very tempted to keep this until I've slimmed a little bit and then, you know, see if that looks all right on me, which I suspect it will as I get slimmer. Um, I'm going to do that rather than size up in it, I think. But it, like I say, it depends what everybody says about it. You know, if people say it looks awful, then I might, I might not. But I would really like to keep this because I liked it very much. And like I say, as I slim down, my tummy's going to go down, isn't it? So I think it'll look better on me. But I just think the quality and the price is just so good. I just don't want to actually send it back. You know, I love this blouse, but I haven't seen the footage. And I don't know if it's going to make me look more like a barrel around my middle, you know, which it could be the problem. That detail and everything in it and the cut and the fabric is just really great. This fat face one, I don't think that this looks like it's worth double the price of any of them. I just don't. I think it's a bit too lacking in any structure, really. I love fat face, like I say, but I tend to only shop there in the sale. So, so I don't think that this is worth the price when compared to that. It's not a bad price. But when compared to the other Sainsbury's thing, I think I would rather swap it for two other Sainsbury's things, you know. I think Sainsbury's is going to be one of my favourite go-to places in the future. I absolutely love the clothes. So, this I'm not sure about based on that, you know. And sadly, for all I love the two little handbags, especially this one, I just think they're too small for me. You know, I just, I can't see me using them. Like I say, if you're a you travel light kind of person, when you go out, they'd be perfect. But, you know, that's perhaps not me. I'm everything but the kitchen sink kind of woman, you know, when I go out. So, sadly, I think they might be being returned. But I'll definitely be using the money I get back from them to buy some more Sainsbury's clothes because I absolutely love them. I'm a convert now. Whatever I might have thought before, I, everybody had been saying to me, go to Sainsbury's, try Sainsbury's, right? Are you going to Sainsbury's? 
And I'd sort of been a bit sort of like this about it. Never again, I will be there, honestly, because I think it is such good quality for the price. I just can't believe it. The cut is so nice on everything as well. So I will be going back to Sainsbury's in future, probably in the very near future when I'm taking stuff back. So yeah, that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. All my contact details are in the description box in case you wanted to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!